blogs are a fantastic way to share the wealth of information that we're accumulating every day in our day-to-day -day life. So in this video, we're gonna walk through how to host and uh, manage a blog using Hugo's static site generator and hosting that on GitHub. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is first ensure that we have a GitHub account and that we're logged in and we want to install Hugo. If you haven't installed Hugo yet, it's very straightforward. The link for this will be in the description. If you're running Mac and you have Homebrew installed, it's as simple as running brew install Hugo. So once we do that, the flow that we're going to use is we're gonna have one repository on GitHub that houses the actual code that we're iterating on, uh, you know, making our posts and our drafts, etc. And then we're going to have another repository that we're actually deploying off of, and this will be hosted through GitHub pages. So I'm going to create one repository here called blog, and we'll make it public. And simply just hit create repository. And the next thing I'm going to do is go back into my account, I'm going to make another repository, and this is going to be called the simple engineer .github. Io, and this is going to be the actual uh, URL that I'm going to be using as well to deploy the code off of. All right, so now that that is created, the next thing that I want to do is think about a theme that I want to use for my website. So Hugo has some uh, nice themes available on their site. Again, the link for this will be in the description. Uh, and all of the commands and code that I type will be on my website in the description as well. So Looking at these themes, I'm just going to pick one at random that I like. This seems to be a nice one here. Uh, you can view a demo of the theme. Okay, you can click and see uh, what it looks like. So this is uh, pretty nice. So I'm going to just go ahead and use this. So the first thing I need to do is clone my blog. So this is where this code will actually exist. So I'm going to clone this locally. And I'll just simply do git clone and the repository URL. So inside of blog, what I'm going to do is create a new Hugo site. And in order to do this, all we need to do is say Hugo new site, and then name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this the simple engineer blog. Okay, so it quickly creates a new directory. So we'll go inside of this and you'll see a lot of boilerplate code here. And this is what's used for Hugo. So next thing I want to do is actually add this theme that we looked at into my themes directory. So what I'm going to do is CD into themes and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to actually just clone their theme Git repository here. Um, they'll also have a download button if you don't have a readme in yours and you can just simply go to code and copy the HTTPS URL that you see here. So. Uh, they do have a readme in this case. I'm just going to simply copy this like so. And now I have a theme. So in order to utilize this theme, what we need to do is set this as the default theme in the config.toml file. So I'm going to open up config.toml and I'm going to go ahead and do two things. First, I'm going to set the theme to the name of this theme, which is contrast Hugo. And the next thing I'm going to do, you can add a title so I can say like the simple engineer blog. And the most important thing here is the base URL. So when you actually deploy your code, you want to make sure you're using the URL uh, that will be kind of the prefix to all of the sub pages that you visit. For GitHub, it's very simple. You're just going to do the name of the um, project that you're deploying off of. So for right now, like I had said, we have the simple engineer.github.io. So I am going to add that in here and I'm going to add a slash at the end. So this will be the base URL. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now, clear this screen. Now, the next thing uh, that we want to check is we want to see if this actually looks okay. So we can actually preview this site locally. In order to do that, what we need to do is we just run Hugo server and you'll notice that it almost instantaneously compiles the code uh, or generates the static site, I should say, and gives us a link. So I can visit this link and there we go. Very, very straightforward. So it looks, it looks good. You'll notice there are no posts in this case. So before we actually generate anything, I can go ahead and I can add a new post. In order to add a new post, you simply just need to go into Hugo, new posts, and then the name of the post. So we'll just call it uh, mypost.md. 
MD stands for Markdown. And you'll notice this is where it gets generated. So if we go ahead and open up this file, you'll notice that it adds a title. So this is the post title. It sets it in draft mode. I'm gonna delete that. And this is some content. So this is actually markdown code. You can put code in here. For example, if I wanted to do a Java snippet, I could come in here and say, and we can go ahead and save this. And now you may be wondering, okay, well, we created two repositories. What was the point of that? So the point of that is that this is where the uh, code is going to live, but this is not where we want to house the static assets. That's going to be used in our other blog. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add our other blog as a sub module. And that is going to basically allow us to store just the static assets that were generated in a separate repo. So it's a good way to organize your code. So before we even do that, what we need to make sure is that we have at least one commit uh, as well as a main branch on this repository. And the main branch that we're going to be using is literally going to be called main. So I'm going to go up back to my desktop and I'm going to actually clone this repository. So I'll do git clone and I'm going to check out a new branch. So if I go into this and I do git checkout dash B main, what I'm going to do is just add a, a simple readme. So I'll say touch readme dot markdown and I'm going to commit this to the main branch. So I'll say git status, git add, git commit, adding readme. And I will push this to the main branch. So now if I refresh this repository, you'll notice that I have a readme and the main branch that I'm using, the default branch is main here. So this is a really important step. We are going to be deploying off of the main branch. All right, so now what I want to do is add a git sub module, and that's basically going to be a reference to this repository, and we're just going to really easily deploy uh, out of this. So for that to make sense, what I'll do is in the Simple Engineer blog, so this is where our code actually exists, so I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to add a sub module. So in order to do that, you simply just type in git sub module add, and what we're gonna, uh, the branch that we're gonna pull off of is the main branch, and we're gonna put in the repo URL of where we wanna host the code. So the simpleengineer.github.io. So I'm gonna copy this URL. This is the repo URL. And then I want to name the folder that we're gonna be deploying from, the submodule folder, as public. Okay, and there's my intentions behind this is the static files that get generated will actually add them into the public folder automatically. Um, and that's a good benefit because uh, that will basically just seamlessly take the generated code and put it into the repository that we're working with here. All right, so inside public, obviously nothing is in here yet except our readme file that we created. So what we can do, you know, let's say that um, our code looks good. Again, we created a post, so we can actually just double check what that looks like before we deploy. So if I refresh this, you'll notice now we have a post. Here's our highlighted code. So that looks good. I'm satisfied with this. So what I can do is now generate my static files. And the static files, again, will go into public. So all I need to do to build the code is simply run hugo-t and the name of our theme. So the name of our theme, I believe, is contrast hugo. So you'll notice I created 10 pages and created one sitemap. And this will actually go into the public directory. So the public directory are all of the static assets that we'll actually push. Now you'll notice that inside this directory, if I do a git remote-v, the origin is pointing to my simple engineer github repository and that's because we're in the public sub module and what we can simply do is just add all of these things and we can add a commit so let's just say init commit and i'm going to go ahead and push origin to main and what i'm doing is i'm pushing the static assets to our static assets repository so if i refresh this what you'll notice is now I have all of my static code and it will automatically get deployed. 
And the reason it automatically gets deployed is if we go into settings and we scroll down, you'll notice that there is a GitHub pages thing and it says your site is ready to be published at this URL. And the branch that we're deploying off of is the main branch. Uh, so this is very simple way to do this. HTTPS is already enforced. If I go ahead and click this, you'll notice that it's already been deployed. So it's extremely fast. And this is where the content is. So that's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much.